Okay guys, let's finish up and go over what happened this week in medicine and healthcare between December 1st and December 5th, part two. So together, we went over a massive study out of France of over 20 million people to see if getting a COVID-19 vaccine raised your risk of death. Of the 28 million people who got vaccinated with the mRNA vaccine, ended up having a 25% all-cause mortality reduction compared to those who did not get the vaccine. More interestingly, the same group ended up having about a 75% reduction of dying from COVID-19 compared to the unvaccinated group. We also went over the FDA's changes to medications moving forward and how some of them will no longer have to actually have animal testing in order to get approval from them, making the process easier and cheaper, hopefully bringing more drugs to the market. Before we get into the last major study, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily news update, links to all of the articles, and you will help support me as a first-year medical student struggling with neurology right now. Now, the last thing we talked about is new changes to potential continuous glucose monitors used for diabetics. Researchers at MIT have now potentially made a cell phone-sized device that can actually track your glucose without actually having to insert any needles. In their early preliminary testing, the results were just as good as those using a continuous glucose monitor, and they're planning on entering clinical trials within the next year. So we'll see if maybe this is going to be an easy alternative for individuals who suffer from diabetes. That's all the major news for this week. I will see you tomorrow to go over the news. It's going to be a crazy week with all of the amount of studying I have to go through, so it may be short a day or two, but I'll do my best, and we have some new things planned and coming up for the channel and the platform after my finals.